Yeah, we were flying and we lost a quad. I heard it beeping down here though. It's down here. There it is. Hee hee. We found it. Oh, at least I found it. I was just flying around testing some things. So I decided what the heck I'll check. I'll test out GPS rescue. I hit GPS rescue and instead of it climbing, it just slowly started landing. So I'm going to have to really take a hard look at that before I rely on it. Maybe I messed something up. So. Hi everybody, Mike here. Thanks for watching. Today let's figure out something together. Let's figure out why I crashed. In Betaflight's GPS rescue settings, there are two key settings. The two GPS rescue settings we're going to look at today are initial altitude and the altitude mode. You need to understand how these work. First, there is the setting initial altitude. When GPS rescue mode is activated, your quad will turn towards the home point and attempt to go to this altitude. This is the parameter of what that altitude is. During my flights, I have it set to 61 meters or about 200 feet. Remember, this is the altitude as measured from the takeoff point, the home point. The second setting is the altitude mode. This is very important to know how this works. There are three choices, fixed altitude, maximum altitude, and current altitude. We're gonna cover maximum altitude and fixed altitude in detail. Let's take a look at the fixed altitude mode. Per the documentation, the quad will always try to return to the height that was set here. The takeaway here is that when it's set in fixed altitude mode, the quad can fly either up or down to the initial altitude. Let's look at scenario number one, where the altitude mode is set to fixed altitude and the quad is below the initial altitude. In this example, the quad is going to climb to the initial altitude. Here I am flying below the 200 feet. I activate GPS rescue and the quad climbs to approximately 200 feet and then begins heading home. But what happens if GPS rescue kicks in when you're above the initial altitude and you're in the fixed altitude mode. In this case, the quad is going to descend to the initial altitude. In this example, I fly the quad up to about 250 feet, activate the GPS rescue, and the quad goes down to the initial altitude level. In this case, the quad is going to descend to about 200 feet. That's exactly what happened to me on the day of my crash. I had it set to the fixed altitude mode. That's fine if you're flying over flat terrain. But on the day of my crash, I was flying up the slope of a hill. You'll see here, I was well over 200 feet, about 250 feet, when I activated GPS rescue. And the quad did exactly as it was programmed to do. It descended to the initial altitude, which was set at 200 feet. It did not know that there was dirt underneath that close. So in summary, the fixed altitude mode is fine if you're flying over flat terrain, but may not work if you're flying up a hill or up a mountain slope. While we're here, let's look at the ideal settings for GPS rescue when flying up hills. When the altitude mode is set to maximum altitude, the quad keeps track of the highest altitude obtained during the flight. And then when GPS rescue kicks in, it flies to that maximum altitude or the initial altitude, whichever is higher. And in this example, we're gonna invoke GPS rescue when the quad is below the initial altitude. The quad ascends, it climbs to the initial altitude. The quad ascends to about 200 feet, starts flying home. In this scenario, we're going to fly up higher than the initial altitude to about 250 feet. The quad now remembers during the flight that we were up at 250 feet. Then we're going to fly back down below the initial altitude to about 175 feet, and then activate GPS rescue. It will ascend to 250 feet plus 15 meters, or approximately an additional 50 feet. So in this case, it climbs up to 300 feet, and then it starts flying home. This is how the maximum altitude setting works. It remembers your highest point during the flight it flies to that maximum altitude or the initial altitude, whichever is higher. This may be a better setting for use when flying up sloping terrain or up a mountain. 
In this scenario, if I was taking off in the foreground and flying to the hill to the right, I would probably want the mode set for maximum altitude because that hill in the distance is well above my initial altitude of 200 feet. Remember, the initial altitude is always measured from the takeoff location. And remember, if you set the fixed altitude mode, the quad flies up or down to the initial altitude. That's what caused my crash. It flew down. On some flights, you might want to consider popping up to a higher altitude so that it sets a desired maximum altitude. On this flight, I flew around the top of the mountain and GPS rescue worked exactly as desired. Keep in mind that the whole purpose of GPS rescue is to simply raise the altitude of the quad and start flying back towards home so that you can regain your lost signal and take over command manually. And just remember that the GPS rescue is pretty poor at landing. It's not automated like a, a Phantom drone or a Mavic. The third GPS rescue mode is current altitude. I'll let you figure out why that's probably not the best one to use. Thanks for watching.